Hello folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data Hadoop, virtual reality, augmented reality and cloud computing. This is the continuation of previous video and in this video I will go in step by step manner to explain how can we reduce the effect of noise uh, you know in order to convert speech into text in a crisp and clear way. You will also see how can we generate uh, several possible transcripts from a single speech source if that speech source is noisy in nature. That way you can pick up a right transcript. In this video you will also see how to access your uh, computer's microphone so that you can speak into it and then a speech recognition package will transcribe your speech in real time. So stay connected till the end of this video and the series to acquire complete knowledge. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technology of 21st century. When it comes to speech recognition, the accuracy is one important metric because if your speech recognition system is understanding something and transcribing it into a wrong text, then it may create a big blunder. Consider a phrase, he is going to bed. Now if a speech recognition system has bad accuracy due to some noise, then it may transcribe this phrase as he is going to Tibet, which altogether has a different meaning. So if a noise in speech is not treated well, then it may reduce the accuracy of speech recognition applications significantly. Hence it is very important to remove the noise from speech. So let me play an audio having some noise in it. So this is the audio which I am going to play. So you can listen that it has a lot of noise in the background, right? And it, it was not clear what that person in the background was actually saying. So let's try to convert this speech which has noise in it into text. And later on, I'm going to utilize a method to reduce the effect of noise in the background and then getting a crisp and clear speech so that we can convert it into text in a more accurate way. So let me open my Jupyter Notebook real quick. So this is my Jupyter Notebook. And in the first cell, you can see that uh, I'm using a file, rather an audio file with the name noisy underscore speech dot wav to convert the speech in this audio file into text. So the similar piece of code mentioned in the cell is already explained in the previous videos. All right. Uh, but this time I'm uh, utilizing this noisy speech dot wav file which contains the noise in the background when a person was speaking something. So when I ran the cell, it actually generated the output as the snail smelling old beer drinkers, which it is not clear yet whether this was the actual sentence a particular person in the audio was speaking. So we can get rid of the noise uh, in the background uh, in that particular audio file in order to generate the right text with accuracy using a method called adjust for ambient noise. And this method is associated with our uh, recognizer class. So in this cell, uh, which is the next cell, uh, you can see that I introduced this method here with an intent to adjust the noise before we call our this record method. So this is the only difference. I just introduced this one more line which contains this method adjust for ambient noise from the above cell. Okay. So when I ran the cell, I got the output as still smell like old beer drinkers, which is a bit closer to the actual text, right? Moving on. So sometimes it is not possible to remove the effect of the noise. In those cases, you may need to uh, do some, you know, data processing of the audio file in the form of applying some filters, etc. So there is a Python package called SciPy, which can be utilized for this purpose. You can also use some professional audio editing softwares as well for this particular purpose. Now, when we have noisy audio files, you can try to get many possible responses for a given noisy speech audio file. 
that is getting most likely transcriptions so that you can choose a right transcript from the given list based on your wisdom. We can get this possible list of transcripts for the given speech by introducing an argument called show all equals to true. And this argument is being used inside recognize Google method. Okay. So we just need to give this extra argument here in order to get the several possible or most likely transcript of a single speech source. So when I ran the cell which has this argument show all equals to true, you can see that it has generated various most likely transcripts of the noisy speech audio file we have. Right? So you, it, it generated the transcript as the snail, smelly, old gear vendors and it also gave the confidence level for this as well. Right? Then it generated the another transcript which was the snail smell of old gear vendors. Then we have the snail smelled old gear vendors and so on. So now based on your wisdom, you can just pick any particular uh, transcript from the possible transcripts for your use. So this is the way we can, uh, you know, generate a lot of other variations of a single speech source as well. Moving on. So, so far, uh, we have worked on uh, static audio files, which were, uh, you know, saved on our computer. In this section, we will move a step further to capture the speech in an interactive way and dynamically by making use of microphone or rather our computer's microphone and then converting it to, into a text in real time. We will see that the text will get generated as and when we are going to speak into our microphone. So now in order to access the microphone of our computer, we have to install a package called Pi Audio. Please note that Py, uh, Python version 3.7 doesn't support Pi Audio. So you need to have a Python 3.6 and below to make use of this package. If you are using Anaconda Python version 3.7, then you can create a fresh environment and uh, install a version 3.6 of Python in that environment to get that uh, working. So let me open the terminal first. So here you can see that I am using my own uh, separate environment called application environment and here let's type pip install py audio. So you can see the message that requirement already satisfied which means that I have already installed it previously so that's why it is uh, throwing this message okay so we are good here so this is the way actually you can uh, install the pi audio package to detect or access your computer's microphone once the pi audio installation is done you can then go ahead and validate the installation by typing uh, you know a command python hyphen m speech recognition into your terminal and then press enter. So you will see a message like a moment of silence please uh, set minimum threshold to this and say something and bravo it detected my voice and uh, whatever I said previously it actually showed that message onto my screen. So now let's close this terminal and come back to our Jupyter Notebook and here we uh, actually want to work with our microphone. So you can see that I'm utilizing this class called microphone here, right? So I'm basically, uh, if you see uh, this particular cell, I have created an object of microphone class here and gave it a name MC. Now, if, if your computer has many associated microphones, then you can get the list of all those microphones using a method called list microphone names, which you can see here on this particular cell. And when I ran the cell, it actually provided the list of all the possible microphones available on my computer. So if you want to access any specific microphone from this given list, then you can just pass an argument device index equals to and the number of or in the index number of that particular microphone. 
in my example you can see that i'm using microphone called microsoft sound mapper hyphen input and that's why i gave the index as zero because uh, index in python starts from zero hence the index of uh, my microphone sound mapper is zero and i'm utilizing it here now in order to capture microphone input or listen to the microphone you can use a method called listen which i'm utilizing here okay and this particular method listen method is associated with recognizer class only so we will use this method inside the with block here and the method uh, listen takes an argument which is nothing uh, but this audio source called microphone it tries to basically capture the input from the microphone until it hears nothing or encounters the silence this is something which i am doing in the next cell here now when you run the cell and speak out any phrase or sentence your voice gets captured by microphone and speech recognition api then in turn converts it, converts it into text so let me show you it in action so i will try to run this particular cell which is cell 14 okay and uh, it will uh, the microphone will try to capture my voice and once it completes the processing it will then uh, convert the speech into a text which i'm going to spe speak into my microphone so let me run it what is the temperature outside so it captured my voice the microphone has captured my voice now i'm going to run the next cell and perfect so you can see that it has converted my speech into the text and you can see that it has converted whatever i spoke just now i spoke a sentence like what is the temperature outside and uh, the speech recognition package basically captured that speech using a microphone and uh, converted it into the text and it is pretty much accurate as you can see here now if you have a noisy background then you can reduce its effect by utilizing the previously used method called adjust for ambient noise of recognizer class and we can use this uh, method right before listen method as you can see here and then can reduce the effect of the noise in the background so folks this is it for this video in the next video i'm going to show you how to develop a speech recognition project in a step-by-step -step manner so stay tuned here is the today's question how can we see all the possible most likely transcripts of a particular noisy speech please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post your technical questions in the comment section and i will try to answer the same if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you